Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, beginning at verse 24 and ending at verse 34. This is the English Standard Version. The Lord delivers Judah. When Judah came to the watchtower of the wilderness, they looked toward the horde, and behold, there were dead bodies lying on the ground. None had escaped. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take their spoil, they found among them in great numbers, goods, clothing, and precious things, which they took for themselves until they could carry no more. They were three days in taking the spoil. It was so much. On the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Berikah, for there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of that place has been called the valley of Berikah to this day. Then they returned, every man of Judah and Jerusalem, and Jehoshaphat at their head, returning to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord had made them rejoice over their enemies. They came to Jerusalem with harps and lyres and trumpets to the house of the Lord. And the fear of God came on all the kingdoms of the countries when they heard that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel. So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet, for as God gave him rest all around. Thus Jehoshaphat reigned over Judah. He was 35 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned twenty-five years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Azuba, the daughter of Shilhai. He walked in the way of Asa, his father, and did not turn aside from it, doing what was right in the sight of the Lord. The high places, however, were not taken away. The people had not yet set their hearts upon the God of their fathers. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat, from first to last, are written in the chronicles of Jehu, the son of Hanani, which are recorded in the book of the kings of Israel. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.